What's up everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 17 of the tutorial series on AWS HTTP API. So in this video, we are going to learn about exporting the API configuration to open API 3 definition and then we will also have a look at the re-importing the same configuration back into the API gateway. So basically exporting and re-importing option are pretty straightforward while we look at the console. So let's have a look. So here I have this API that is HTTP API and I want to export the open API 3 definition of this API. So to export that we need to click on export under develop. So click on that. Here you need to select the source so you can select the latest configuration or if you want to choose any stage or if you want to go stage specific then you can select any stage that you want to export. So here I will say latest configuration and then here we have the option that is extensions. So it says whether you want to include API gateway extensions or not. So basically uh, if you want to export the AWS specific authorization and API gateway specific API integrations for REST API and HTTP API then you can enable this option and if you don't want AWS specific authorization and API gateway specific API integration then you can disable it. So for now I will keep it enabled and then you can choose the output format that is JSON or YAML I will say JSON and I will say download. So this was pretty straightforward. This is how you can export an open API 3 definition. Now let's have a look how it looks like. So I'm going to simply open it in Sublime. So here it is. This is how it looks like. This is the JSON export, right? And here you will be able to see the uh, AWS specific authorizer configuration. Now if you disable that option, then you would not be able to see this option, correct? So you can have a look. Let me also show you that. I will disable it and I will say download. And I'm going to open this. Let me open side by side. Here it is. So this is without the AWS specific authorization and the API gateway specific API integrations. Correct, this is how it looks like. So here you would not be able to see the authorizer configuration, correct? So basically uh, this is with and without API gateway integrations, right? Or the extensions to be specific, correct? Now what we are going to do is, now let's say we have the open API 3 definition and we want to re-import it. So again, it's pretty straightforward. So click on re-import under developed from the left panel and you can paste that open API 3 definition over here. So let me copy this one. So copy and paste it over here. You can also uh, select the file by clicking on this button. And once you have the open API 3 definition configured and then we have the option for fail on warnings. I am going to keep it disabled, right? So for example, you want to stop the deployment or you don't want to deploy if there are any warnings, correct? Then you can enable that option, but I will keep it disabled and I will say replace API and this configuration would be deployed now okay now to check that we can click on stages let's select the default stage and here you you would be able to see that the last updated was july 26 2021 809 pm right you can compare this time with my current uh, time on the system okay so guys this is how you can export and re-import the open api 3 definition for the api gateway and that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial so guys till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time